Hi, Pisces. How are you? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm going to be doing your tarot forecast from the 22nd through to the 28th of October. So I went ahead and shuffled the cards. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. Here we go. The Eight of Wands in the upright, followed by the Four of Pentacles upright. And next we have the Six of Cups reversed, followed by the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And lastly, we have the Ten of Cups in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this reading for you guys. So, first of all, you have the energies of the Eight of Wands in the upright position. This is some intense energy just because it, there's a lot of commotion and a lot of com, uh, communication going on. So for ha perhaps for some of you, um, this could it's just a general read, so it's going to uh, be different for all of you. But this communication can represent anything um, from any of you, say, who are applying for jobs or things like that. This could be that you're getting a lot of... Uh, of correspondence back and forth or with resumes and so forth this can represent phone calls letters emails and so forth um, for others of you on the romantic front who are maybe uh, looking to date it, these are the arrows of love find their mark so um, it could be that some of you are communicating with someone that you're interested in and there's a lot of text messages uh, going back and forth um, for others of you, if you're uh, doing a lot of business and, and things like that, it could just represent you're going to have a very active and very uh, busy week, it looks like Pisces. So you come into the week of the 22nd with the energies of the Four of Pentacles in the upright. This I call the little hoarder card. <laughs> the Four of Pentacles energy is that of holding on, sometimes a little bit too tightly. We need to lessen our grip. I prefer to see this energy reversed because when it's in the upright, we're just holding on too tight, tightly to something. Now, for some of you, it could be a feeling like you have to hold on to your finances for some reason or another. Um, you know, save for a rainy day or, you know, watch your finances. For others of you, it could be uh, playing out in, um, maybe you're just accumulating too many things. Uh, pentacles can represent um, our possessions as well. So maybe you're holding on too tightly to a lot of things. Maybe you need to have a garage sale and get rid of, of uh, some unused or, or not unused, but, um, well, if you're not using them, then of course you would need to get rid of them. But um, just sort of uh, a lot of material th things that we have around that we could use to get rid of. And sometimes this is just holding on too tightly to memories, uh, holding holding ourselves back. Sometimes it can represent holding on to our emotions and our feelings too tightly. So you've got a little bit of that energy going on uh, Pisces and it's paired with the six of cups in the reverse position the six of cups this is the uh, in the upright this is the blast from the past card and upright this is when we're enjoying our memories of the past uh, connecting reconnecting with people from the past uh, in reverse the energies can go back to the five of cups which can indicate um, the five of cups represents um, sort of uh, on an emotional level where we're thinking a lot about a past um, emotional disappointment. The Five of Cups, if it were here, it would be happening right now that maybe some of you were going through an emotional upset. But with the Six of Cups in reverse, this represents a more of remembering our past emotional hurts and disappointments. So it could be that something triggers it and we go back to that uh, memory and start sort of rehashing all of our uh, you know emotional pain from the past and sometimes we need to do that in order to heal um, when it's paired with the this card though it's making me think that maybe you're holding on to uh, for some of you maybe you might be holding on to old emotional resentments and pain from the past that needs to be released you know because sometimes when we hold on to those energies and remember them too much and too often, it can put us in a place of melancholy and sadness. And we really don't need to reactivate those uh, 
those old uh, past hurts because that just makes us feel bad. Our point of power is in the here and now. Um, whatever happened in the past, we can't change it. it. It is what it is. It was a learning experience and we need to move on from it. So that's what it looks like maybe for some of you. You're holding on too much to emotional situations and emotional baggage from the past. Something, like I said, could have activated this. Um, perhaps, uh, you know, you saw somebody or ran into someone from the past or you could have been talking about uh, to someone about a past hurt or past situation. But it's, it's probably just... Um, um, the beginning of the week energy that's going on there it's about holding on and it's time to release the past energy because moving forward to the 27th 28th it sees that the energies change quite considerably you have the ten of pentacles in the reverse ten of pentacles upright this is uh, uh, financial abundance and um, <laughs> anything security can represent job security can represent to pay raise things like that However, in the reverse, it's it's not bad. It's still uh, representing abundance because it's kind of going back to the Nine of Pentacles upright. It's still uh, abundance, but it could be just shy. Maybe some of you were expecting a pay raise and you didn't get it, or perhaps you're realizing that the pay that you do have now is not um, is not you know um, sufficient, basically uh, for the abundant life that you're trying to live so it's just like it's it's still good um still good energy the ten of pentacles in reverse but it's just not uh maybe not up to par to what you want it to be on some material level or security level it could even represent um because this is a family card too it could even be representing in the home maybe there's just not enough uh money coming in it could be for some of you maybe a partner is not um able to contribute uh, enough to the home to finances but it, you're still okay but it, it could be better okay <laughs> I'll put it that way it could be better now beautiful energy uh, ending off the read and ending off the week for you guys you have the ten of cups in the upright position this is um, emotional fulfillment on the highest level so it could be perhaps for some of you who you maybe you do finally in the beginning of the week release um, some emotional energy that's tied up with the past because you this sees you at the end of the week feeling really emotionally fulfilled which is beautiful energy this card um, can even represent the the ideal relationship so for some of you where this is playing out um, on a relationship front it could be that you find somebody that you really, really connect with and really click with. Uh, for others of you, this could represent um, having a really joyful, happy time with family and friends and the others in your life. Um, this is emotional fulfillment that's shared with other people. So uh, really, really good energy. Like It could be that you free up a lot of your emotional baggage, like I said, from the past, and you find... Um, you know that you're really abundantly happy towards the weekend so this is really really nice <laughs> it looks like you might be going through something a little bit um, sad in the beginning but it it looks like those energies pass very quickly because the second half of the week is about things that are completely different and you have two tens in the reading which can represent completion so maybe you're wrapping up a situation and it looks like it's on the security front and on the emotional front uh looks like you might be turning a corner here a major corner here pisces that's very good very active a lot of activity in this week for you guys i hope this reading helped you and if it did you know what to do like share and subscribe and i want to thank all of you for your uh, comments, your uh, loyalty, your uh, wonderfulness. You guys have been really awesome. I love my Pisces viewers. Thank you so much for all of it, your donations, your time, your, um, your energy. I really appreciate you guys, okay? So until next week, Pisces, take care. Like, share, and subscribe.